Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Um, I had some carrots home, so I decided today to make some uh, something sweet uh, as a recipe, a uh, sweet recipe. So um, for this um, recipe, we're gonna need about two cups of grated carrots. We're gonna need half a cup of milk. We need coconuts. I have here, this is a sweetened coconut, so we need about um, half a cup of coconuts. Condensed milk. We will need about two third cups of condensed milk. I have a recipe. I can. I'm gonna uh, link it at the bottom of the video. In that way, you can make your own condensed milk. And we will need pecans. It, it's up to you how much you, you add. You can add about two to three or four pecans, uh, 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 tablespoons of pecans. And we need butter. It's, we need about two tablespoons of butter, and half a teaspoon of cardamom you can add vanilla essence if you if you like to so um first of all we're going to put two tablespoons in a in a pan about two tablespoons of butter okay um as you see i already put like um Two tablespoons of butter in a, in a in a pan. So I'm gonna add my pecan to it. It's gonna be the fire has to be on a medium heat. I'm going to add carrots. We're going to fry them for about 10 minutes. And now I'm adding the milk. The half a cup milk. Let it cook for another eight to ten minutes. Okay, after ten minutes, I'm adding coconut flakes to it. About a quarter teaspoon of cardamom. You can add more or less according to your taste. I'm adding like a little bit more than a quarter. And I'm going to add an additional half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. and the condensed milk. As I said before, I already made this condensed milk home, so it's easy to make. You can um, do it yourself. And I will put a link to the condensed milk at the bottom of the video. Just mix everything together and let it cook for an additional 10 to 13 minutes. As you see, the, the mixture is still cooking, so 
all the milk and um, the juice is going to evaporate so we just let it cook on a low flame okay as you see all the um, the liquid or the fluid from the carrots the milk and everything is all evaporated so now I'm taking the stove off and let it cool until um, at room temperature and I will come back to it as you see my carrot dish now it cooled down to room temp temperature so I transfer it to another bowl it is easy to handle it's 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 uh, uh, it's not hot or anything it's really cool so and I have another um, some uh, coconut flakes over here and my dish what I'm so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take a piece I'm gonna use my hands because this is have to use your hands on it and you just make a ball shape it in a small ball like a pea ball as you see and you just put it in your plate for later on You can use coconut flakes if you want, if you desire, or anything that you want to um, to dip your sweet carrots in it, or you can just leave them as is without adding anything to them. They are sweet themselves, really nice and tasty. You can put them in the fridge for later on in hot days. And if you, your hands start sticking, you can just um, add a little bit of oil to it. I'm just going to continue finishing up and I'll come back.